today I'm going to be designing in Microsoft Paint. That's right, I'm going to use this archaic software to create modern professional designs, and this is going to be really hard. I'm gonna give myself only 10 minutes, but let's not waste any time and jump right in. Okay, so I have Windows XP pulled up here. This is actually like an online emulator I found and it's pretty dope. You've got all these things, it's so nostalgic. Oh, even the chess profile picture. <laughs> Movie maker, my first love. Hey guys, like and subscribe. <laughs> I used to be such a pro at Minesweeper. Oh my God. Boom, <gasps> no. <laughs> I always played around with Microsoft Paint, but I never really used it professionally before. So today's gonna be a first for that. 10 minutes on the clock and time starts now. This should be doable. I don't think this should be very difficult at all. I'm gonna just use the text box and write out Amazon. And let's just see if we can find the closest font. Okay, we know it's not Arial Geneva. That's feeling a little bit more Amazon. Georgia Helvetica. Oh, snap. That might be the one. Whoop, swoop, swoop, whoop. Swoop, swoop. Oh wow, it is painting pixel by pixel. Ooh, that doesn't look good. We only have six minutes on the timer. Crap, I gotta go way faster. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. Phil, Phil. I think we just need to add that little swoop. I keep saying swoop, I'm so sorry. Okay. I think that works. Four minutes on the clock. This is actually coming together really nicely. We need to get this same orange. Oh, there we go. The arrow starts at the A and it goes to the Z. Let's do it. Oh God, we only have a minute 25 on the clock. 42 seconds on the clock. Oh my God, this is about to come down to the wire. Oh, come on, baby. I just need the right line, 20 seconds. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's the right angle. Fill tool, fill tool, boom, three. Two, one. <laughs> oh my god, I think I did it. I think that looks incredible. Like that looks legitimate. Okay, let's do another. I'm going to do the Spotify logo. Personally, I'm an Apple Music guy. I know, I know, I'm sorry. In three, two, one, design. We need to get that green. That's the first step. Oh, that is pretty close right off the bat. Fill bucket. Boom. It's always a little bit too windows, I swear. There we go, pretty close. Let's make this circle. Oh wow, can I move this at all? Okay, no. I'm just gonna have to try to make it in the right spot. We got eight minutes left on the timer, so we got a big little loop-de-loop. -loop. Eyedropper tool, let's get our green. Perfect. It's very difficult to use the circle tool. You never know where it's gonna go. I'm gonna take the curvy line tool. I'm gonna take a point here, a point here. Oh, I'm doing it. How much time? Seven minutes. Yeah, at this rate, we're not doing that good. No, 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 <laughs> what? Good, that's good, stay. Okay, I just realized I have less than a minute on the clock right now. Not only that, but I cannot figure out how to make this into a line for the life of me. It's there, I want it, I just don't know how to keep it. Every time I click off, boom, it goes away. I guess I could use the brush tool. Boom, let me fill it in. <laughs> that is so sad. Time's up. This is how far I got. I don't know what to say. That was exhilarating, but terrifying. I thought I had such a good plan going into this. I'm gonna finish it real quick because I wanna show you how good this should have been. Boom, boom. And then I would take the text. <laughs> Why does it open up a text box? Okay, there we go. Spotify. Wow, that looks exactly like it. Here's the original Spotify logo. This is my recreation. As you can see, I think there really is hope for Microsoft Paint. It would just take an incredible amount of skill. If you haven't been under a rock, then you've probably heard that AI is taking over the world, all of our jobs, and destroying everything. This is gonna be a pretty difficult logo, I think. I'm just gonna really focus on making this icon. 10 minutes on the clock, starting in three, two, one design. I need a rounded rectangle. I need to get the right shade and that's gonna make all the difference here. This is very much teal. Oh, that's a really difficult color. Fairly dark. 
I feel like that's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> This rectangle in the icon looks pretty round, and this does not, we might have to cut off the edges. That's looking better. Oh, oh god, oh god, it's crashing. Oh god, what did I sign up for? Six minutes to now make that. It goes up, over, and around. Let's use our square version of our brush. Now we have our hexagon. We just need to make the flower petals, so it's like this. Then it comes out, and then it comes down. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Oh god, less than four minutes on the clock right now. This one goes down, down, and around. Oh no, down here, over here. Two minutes on the clock. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. Is there any way of improving this at all? I'm just making the lines a little bit thicker. 30 seconds. Oh no. <laughs> Three, two, one. This might not be my proudest creation of the day, but we can't say we didn't give it a try. I'm still proud of what I was able to make because art is about creating something unique. <laughs> Let's use it for what it's truly made for, paint a beautiful picture of a cyber truck. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's also very angular, and I think it won't be too difficult to replicate in a program like Microsoft Paint. Let's just pull up this black fill. Wow, look at that, that was easy. We're already halfway there. <laughs> and then I think we'll start with the angles here. I'm gonna use the spray paint can. I think that's pretty dope. Here's a gray. Oh yeah, it looks good already. Is there an undo button? In Adobe softwares, you can layer things on top of each other and drag and drop them and move them around. Whereas Microsoft Paint, you're kind of having to work at the bottom and fill your way back up, which I guess is how normal painting works anyways. <laughs> but I am not used to normal painting. It's definitely hard to paint a straight line on this program. I'll tell you that much for sure. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to use a laptop trackpad. I do have this eraser. Oh my God, what? The eraser brings it all the way back to white. That doesn't even happen in real life. Jeez, <laughs> this is looking a little bit elementary. Um, okay, got one. This is so hard to place. And then I can fill that with gray. Yes. Wow. Maybe I should fill the whole car up with gray. Can I do that? Oh, no. Wait, I could take these lines. Oh yeah, I should have done this from the start. I'm starting to think that I can make some real designs with it. Yes. Let's add some texture to them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. I mean, it might not be the most symmetrical, but it's it's a statement. I feel like if I can just get these wheels right, the rest will follow. Yeah, we want it to be a dark gray, but not black. And then let's fill up our circle with that. Yes. Now we're talking <laughs> when you realize you're not the only person in the storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding a little texture to this whole thing. This isn't gonna be photorealistic, so the only real option I have is to make it abstract. Boom. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of the layers. I don't know why I thought that was gonna go underneath my black layer. There's a line that separates the whole middle of this car. I think we need to draw that out. And fill that in with a slightly darker shade. Perfect. Black. No. <laughs> it's a little hard to see, I'm not gonna lie. Boom. Okay. The true black might be a little too dark for this. Nice. And then we've got a couple more lines I think we should incorporate. Maybe with the pencil tool? That way they're a little bit more realistic. <laughs> That's realistic, alright. <laughs> Wow, 
voila. I think that should do it. There you go. This is my first real painting in Microsoft Paint. I don't think I've ever actually tried before. Overall, I think there's a couple of angular problems when you look between the two pictures, but in general, I think this looks pretty good. And this showed me a lot about the capabilities of Microsoft Paint and kind of what we're working with. I think it's time to go to edit image, clear image, and start from scratch. Okay, this video was a lot of fun. It was kind of ridiculous. Let me know if you want to see me do more challenges like this. I'm currently at 748 subscribers and you could be my 749th. Me and lot to me if you hit the subscribe button, left a comment, let me know if you like this. Until next time, I'll see you later.